and a rematch of last year's National League Championship Series. The D-backs prevailing in that one tonight, though, a regular season tilt, a weekend that should be quite exciting. It's rematch round two from the NLCS last year. Left-hander Jordan Montgomery gets the ball in the opener. 16 starts in his first season with the Diamondbacks. He's made three since coming off the injured list after missing a month with that right knee inflammation. A well, run for cover. Here comes Kyle Schwarber on a home run tear. As the one-two strike, three called. Got him with a changeup. And he strikes out Schwarber to begin the top of the first inning. Little tapper, Jordan's got it. He retires Schwarber and Turner, and now you get Bryce Harper. That one's the opposite way up the third base line. That's going to be a base hit since they were playing him to pull massively. And he's aboard with two men down. Lines this deep to right center. McCarthy chasing after it. Look out. He's got it. Jake McCarthy runs it down. Off the bat of Alec Bohm. Great start for Jordan Montgomery. Diamondbacks coming up. Facing Colby Allard, who didn't pitch badly his last time out for the Phils. He's a guy who's been around, kind of a crafty lefty. Even though he doesn't lead off all the time. That's popped up, shallow right. Sosa says he has it, and he does. And Jake rolls it by Sosa. He's at it again. McCarthy, the base hit against the left-hander. Ertis, that rolls into left. Here we go. Yeah, hard ground ball through that left side. And here comes Josh Bell making his chase field debut as a Diamondback. And I'll tell you what, Bob, in Cleveland, everything that Bell hit seemed like it was 110 miles an hour off the bat. It's that one over toward third. That could be two. There's one, and Sosa's return throw in time. On one pitch, they get Josh Bell to roll into a double play. No runs, two hits. One man left. We're on to the second. Here's Castellanos, who uh, you can see him walking around with the Clemente number 21 T-shirt every once in a while, and he smokes one back through the middle of base hit. He had six hits in Los Angeles, and now has eight hits on this road trip. Here's that changeup one more time, and Montgomery gets strikeout number two. So two outs, Weston Wilson the batter, and he lines one into left field. That's a base hit. Weston Wilson, his first start in the month of August, and he wastes no time. Rojas trying to bunt his way on. Herrera's on it. Jose Herrera, a terrific play to strand two. A zero on the board in the second. Jose with a hose, still no score. And Kyle Schwarber is aboard with a leadoff single. So in the first inning, a two-out single. In the second inning, a one-out single. And here in the third, the Phillies get their leadoff man on. Turner is a career 361 hitter at Chase Field. Not only that, he has reached base in all 29 career games in which he's played in this ballpark. That's the longest streak to begin a career in Chase Field's history. Oh, they got uh, Schwarber hung up. Josh Bell applies the tag. Schwarber going on first move on three and two, and they picked him off. Another mistake that time by Schwarber, especially when you got three All Stars hitting behind you all in a row. Because there's a swing and a towering. Pop up in his shallow left, and Guriel <laughs> calls off Perdomo. Perdomo, like a sack of potatoes, just hits the deck and all smiles as the catch is made, and they're now two outs. Harper fires it out to left. Lertis is sinking liner, and it's three scoreless for Jordan Montgomery. Love the swing that time by Perdomo, really trying to hit the ball the other way. It's a top spin line drive. Sosa kind of knocked it down and then threw him out. It was a nice play. Swing and a miss. That is a nasty pitch. First strikeout for Howard and his sixth overall in his big league career. Swing and a miss. He tried to climb the ladder. Marte did. Could not. Five hitters in a row retired by Howard. One, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. We're moving to the fourth. Alec Bohm is just killing it right now. He leads the Phillies in both hits and RBIs this year. And now has a 26 game on base streak, the longest in the majors. With his 41st double of the season, he just missed a home run. That one is off the end of the bat over to first. Bell's got it, flips to Montgomery, and Sosa's safe at first. That'll be an infield hit that will load the bases. Now that was just Sosa out running the baseball, basically. Here's Wilson with the bases full, one out. Yeah, got him. Ran that sinker in there, and Weston Wilson has a beef with Derek Thomas, and he might have a point. So now Rojas, who punted his uh, last time up and was retired quickly, will get another chance now with the runner in scoring position. Lazy fly ball, left center. McCarthy's got it. 
And Jordan Montgomery leaves him loaded. He has worked four scoreless against the Phillies. Swing and a foul tip, and Allard has four strikeouts in three and two thirds so far. They figure they're going to get Taiwan Walker back. They'll get Ranger Suarez back, and Allard is just a stopgap guy. But he was once a first round pick coming out of San Clemente High School in California. Fly ball right center field, fairly deep but playable. Rojas is out there. And he makes the catch. One, two, three, go the Diamondbacks here in the fourth inning. Four shutout innings for Colby Allard. Second time he's got Schwarber. Lance Barksdale brings him up. Four strikeouts for Jordan Montgomery. Schwarber really not close to that pitch. Harper is one for two. His one base hit, though, as you said, the old Baltimore chop. All right, curveball. And hold on. Oh, wait a minute. We're having a violation here. There's a timer violation at the last minute being signaled by Derek Thomas. So that's going to be a new life for Bryce Harper. That one's floated out to right center field, and Harper does make a pay. He's got a base hit. He's thinking two. It's bobbled by Grichik, so he pays off. And I gotta believe that since he did not break stride, that they'll probably give him a double. I would agree with that. It's the right scoring. And Harper's in at second with two outs instead of the inning being over. That was a big timer violation. Well, you got first base open again, and Bohm has been an RBI machine who doubled high off the left field wall his last time up will be the hitter. Uriel on the move. Lourdes has got it in the gap. Boy, he's way out there in front of the 4-13 mark in deep left center. Lourdes Guriel Jr. moves so well laterally and makes the sliding grab to strand that double, and it's five scoreless for Jordan Montgomery. What a play. Allard at 50 pitches, 35 for strikes. He's done a very nice job here. Nine straight retired by the Phillies left-hander. You know Suarez hit into a double play his first time up today. It's five hits in six games through the road trip Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Suarez lets it go off the pole and gone. We know it's Gino and it's one of the Diamondbacks. Gino Suarez homer number 17 and the D-backs lead it one nothing. He's staying hot and he just golfed that ball too. Just a line shot about halfway up the pool and you're wondering is that going to stay fair and it hit the pool and that's a home run it's lined and caught by Suarez swings it over to first but Castellanos is back Ooh, big time you'll take it because that ball gets by Gino there that's a double down on the line and who knows and that'll bring up Weston Wilson Wilson had a single in the second Wilson he might recall got rung up on strike three with the bases loaded in the fourth on a pitch that appeared to be down and in and a high fly ball out to left field going back is Guriel. he reaches up he can't get it it's off the wall Castellanos is to third he's being waved home there's going to be no throw to the plate and Weston Wilson comes up with an RBI double that ties this ball game up in one two hard hit balls tonight for Weston Wilson his first double of the season just missed out on a homer and uh, for all the great outfield defense Guriel not one of the better outfielders but uh, went leaping for that not sure he was all that close to it <laughs> he missed in and they're loaded for Trey Turner Dylan Floro set to go in the bullpen here comes Tori Lavello. Regardless of this situation right here, Jordan Montgomery with a big step forward here tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. This maybe hit the wall here a little bit in the sixth. And Floro's going to inherit a base loaded jam here with two outs in the fifth and a 1 1 ball game. Ground ball toward the hole. That'll leak into left field of base hit. One run is in. Here comes Rojas. He'll score. And Trey Turner has a two run single. And the Phillies have taken the lead. It's a 3 1 ball game. Well, you talk about clutch cargo. That's a beautiful thing. Nine hits for the Phillies. They lead it 3 1. Harper so far. Two for three. Single to double. Pitch off the end of the bat. It's flicked out to right center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Schwarber will score the whole turner. And Bryce Harper with a two out RBI single. It's now 4 to 1, Phillies. And again, not a rocket to right center. It looked like uh, you said Turner maybe just a little bit off the end of the bat. Harper, certainly that was a little bit off the end. Uh, it was another two-out base hit. Here's some patience for Cattell Marte. Hand it off to the next guy. Keep the line moving. Here's Jake. McCarthy, high fly ball. Right field, Jake McCarthy. Gone. 
And the answer backs have answered back. It's a one run game. First pitch bang off the bat of Jake, his fourth of the year, and the Diamondbacks pull themselves to within one. And he got a breaking ball going down and in, the same ones that Marte was fouling off. And McCarthy kept it fair and drilled it out of here. Nothing better than a leadoff walk followed by a home run. Slade Sicconi is the new pitcher. Takes over here in the seventh with the Phillies up four to three. JT Romuto starts it off for the Phillies against the new pitcher for the Diamondbacks. And a high fly ball to deep left center field. JT has gone yard. First home run since the 23rd of May for JT Real Muto, and the Phillies take a 5-3 lead. And all that work, he's been, uh, he came early today, we walked into the ballpark, saw him taking some extra BP. My goodness, is that big. Scott, he lives. He lives. He fought for his life and got one. You gotta imagine that bullpen a little bit taxed. Rob Thompson trying to manage it best that he can and just give these relievers some bite-sized innings so that everyone can be effective and available tomorrow. But it doesn't help when your eighth inning guy walks two in a two-run game. The D-backs now have the tying runs on. They have a go-ahead run to the plate. Swing and a miss. He got him. And Suarez down on strikes. That's a big one. Well, here's Kevin Newman. Who bats for the fourth time in this one. He's one for three. Swing and a miss, he got him. What an inning for Alvarado. The last three innings, the relief pitchers have picked up two strikeouts to wrap up each inning. That's a base hit going to the corner. JT around first on his way to second. And after not having an extra base hit for quite some time, he's got two of them tonight. This is an important run. I mean, going into the bottom of the ninth inning, down by two. Edmundo Sosa coming up here. Opposite way down the right field line. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Carroll will cut it off in foul territory. JT will score. Sosa to second. It's an RBI double. And the Phillies get another insurance run. It's a 6-3 game. As he's going around first base, the entire dugout of the Phillies are up on the rail, back to cheering, back to having fun. Things that, that we as broadcasters and fans hadn't seen for a long time. Now they're kind of back into that feeling. It's great to see. And for their fans, and there's a lot of them, if they can pull this out, these, this three-game stretch is going to make them feel really good about where the team is. Perdomo will lead it off against Estevez. And that'll get it started. Perdomo rips it by Harper at first. Good start for the Diamondbacks. They've got their first man aboard. And the one two to Jock. Strike three called, got him looking. It's a paint. perfect pitch. Just paint. I mean, that's just the pitcher's pitch. Just dotted the inside corner. Swing and a miss. He got him. Back to back strikeouts. Third time Marte's gone down tonight. T Mac, he broke out the nastiest changeup. I mean, this is a filthy, filthy pitch. Devez with a changeup. And there's two outs in the ninth. Here comes McCarthy, who homer to the sixth. Jake is singled in Homer to check on oh. Perdomo. They throw it away. Harper runs it down. Sosa picks it up. Perdomo's at second. Well, that's a head scratcher there for Estevez. Huh? Two outs, runner at second now. McCarthy delivers. Perdomo scores, and it's six to four. Jake McCarthy, his third hit tonight. Well, he is at some kind of year. Jake in the two hole tonight. Three hits, three RBIs. They're not done yet. And they get the tying run to the plate with two outs. It's Guriel, who has singled twice and walked. That run doesn't mean a thing, Tom. Nope. This is the hitter you need to get right here. Fly ball, right center field. Castellanos is under, and it's not that deep. He waits, makes the catch for the first time since the second week of July. The Phillies have won three consecutive games.